If there's one phone that's got journalists turning heads this year, it's got to be this one. After all, how often does the creator of Android build his own smartphone? Hi, I'm Michael Josh, you're watching Gadget Match, and this is our Essential Phone Hands-On. This is the Essential Phone, designed to be the phone that represents exactly what users need in a smartphone. No gimmicks, no bloatware, no fluff. Just the essentials. And at the very least, because it's designed by this man, it represents a phone that's exactly how the father of Android wants you to experience it. More than any other phone in the market today, the essential phone does the bezel-less display best. There's something about how it looks, feels, and even ways that make it appealing. It's all display from corner to shining corner. And on its back, glossy ceramic. There's no branding, no camera hump, no excesses, just screen, cameras, and phone. One of the first things that caught my attention was this cutout over here for the phone's selfie camera. It's not something I've ever seen on a phone before, and it took a bit of getting used to. But then it makes sense and doesn't take away from the experience. You'll see more of it when you're on the home screen. Some apps like Google Maps take advantage of this extra real estate while other Google apps just fill the space with color. All other apps leave the space black as if it wasn't display at all. When notifications come in, they look a bit weird because there's more white space than what we're used to seeing. Expect it to take a while longer for app developers to optimize this extra screen real estate, which is an unconventional 19 by 10 aspect ratio that's closer to the narrower form factor of the LG G6 and the Galaxy S8. There really is hardly any bezel here, apart from a small chin on the bottom of the phone. The phone packs a 5.7 inch display, but manages to be considerably smaller than the iPhone 7 Plus with a 5.5 inch display. The phone is made of a Gorilla Glass display, titanium frame, and a ceramic back. Titanium is rarely used on phones, if at all, and is supposedly tougher than aluminum. Ceramic is more scratch-resistant than glass. The choice of materials makes the phone quite slippery and very prone to smudges. Let's take a look at the essential phone from all sides. Volume buttons and power button are on the right, nothing up top and on the left. On the bottom, speakers, USB port, and SIM card tray, which houses a single nano SIM card slot. The phone comes with 128 gigabytes of storage, so you don't get provisions for expendable memory. Up front, display for days except the selfie camera cutout, and tucked over here is an earpiece and notification light. On its back is where things get exciting. There is an LED flash and dual cameras, two circular contact points for mods, and over here, a fingerprint sensor. The fingerprint sensor works great and is in the most ideal place possible. It's easy to reach, doesn't get in the way of the other elements, and unlock times are okay. The contact points mean the folks over at Essential envision this phone to be modular, similar to what Motorola wants to do with their Moto Z line. Right now, only one mod is available, a 360-degree camera. Their dual camera setup is similar to that found on the Huawei P10 and the new Nokia 8. You get two sensors, one is color, the other black and white. Fusing the color and detail information is supposed to help the phone produce amazing photos, even in low light. But their camera app is still a work in progress. Switching between modes is slow, although photos are pretty good. But you be the judge. The selfie camera is also worth mentioning. It shoots a modest 8 megapixel selfies, but can also shoot 4K video, which potentially makes it a great vlogging device. The Essential Phone is most definitely a flagship phone with top of the line hardware. Check out this spec sheet. Gaming feels snappy, so does multitasking, and battery life is sufficient enough to last you a whole day. Because of its deep Android roots, it comes as no surprise that the essential UI is basically stock Android. It's snappy and unencumbered by bloatware. So, is the essential phone your gadget match? One could argue that this phone doesn't come up with all the essentials. It's not water and dust resistant. It doesn't have a headphone jack and it comes in between Note 8 and V30 launches. Both are poised to be amazing smartphones. 
If Apple's taught us anything, it's that you don't need all the extras to make a great phone. Sometimes just by being simple, by focusing on the essentials and the experience, you can still win the smartphone race. That is what Essential hopes to do. And from the get-go, this is a really good start. And that was our Essential Phone Hands-On. For more videos like this one, make sure to subscribe to our YouTube channel, like our Facebook page, follow Gadget Match on social media, and make GadgetMatch.com your daily habit. Until the next video, I'm Michael Josh. Thanks for dropping by.